Whether NASCAR is packing the stands or not, whether the television ratings are just stable, the fact is that the drivers are still important to the manufacturers. Carl Edwards and his new deal just opened the door. Formula One's been doing this for years. All I've got to say is welcome to the club. I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com's NASCAR edition. Do you want to take a friend to the Sprint Cup finale at Homestead in November? If you do, then click on the banner at the top of the page and enter the three-day pass giveaway. Carl Edwards has just made history. The contract he signed with Roush Fenway was a game changer. Now there is a precedent for manufacturers kicking in cash, at least publicly, to retain a high caliber driver. This isn't new. Formula One and the manufacturers have been doing it for years. They know that to keep talent, you've got to pay for it, and there's no doubt that Carl is a known quantity, and he knows Roush is as well. You don't want to do deals that take you away from familiar surroundings unless you know they can't cut it. Jacques Villeneuve and the Honda deal comes to mind. Carl knows what Roush can do for him, and Roush knows what Carl can do. So does Ford. Expect to see talents like that getting a bigger paycheck in the future for services rendered. Think about Fiat now and in Chrysler. Will Marcioni, which is Fiat and Chrysler's CEO, up the stakes in NASCAR with another team or pour the resources into Penske and the two drivers he has? Well, my bet is Keselowski and Kurt Busch have a lucrative future with Penske courtesy of the Italians. Chrysler's more profitable than Fiat and Fiat wants a bigger foothold in the U.S. Don't believe it? Their new management team for Chrysler and Fiat is now going to be in Detroit. It's still part of the U.S., isn't it? For Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com's NASCAR edition, I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you next time.